In this video trading, we're gonna look at paper trading golden rules. Stay tuned. Hey guys, one welcome to you. All right, so if you're paper trading or if you have a demo account, and by the way, there's a link to them in the description uh, below. They offer different platforms, you can try those out as well. But some golden rules that you should really stick to if you are trading demo or a paper account, because the big issue that I see most traders have is when they're trading demo and they're trading paper, and it's a great idea, right? It's a great idea to start off with, but I'm always a big advocate of moving to real money as soon as you can, because it changes the way that you feel about the trade. When you've got some skin in the game, it changes your whole perspective psychologically. Uh, and you don't kind of feel that until you move to real money, but there's a real useful and real, va there's a real use and a real value so paper trading is why opening a demo account is a great way of doing it. Even if you never move to a live, even if you're just kind of playing around with it, it's, it's a good way to do it. And also guys as well, even if you are about to open a live account, just start on a demo to get used to make some of the mistakes. We've all made mistakes. Uh, I know many traders, including myself guys, have made horrible mistakes with tickets and orders and buying something we shouldn't do and selling something and size and stuff. So get those out the way when there's no consequences financially uh, before you kind of go to live. So platform familiarization is a good one and also just the trade strategy really is what we're going to talk about here so first thing is construct a trading plan now i talk about this a lot however i get that when you're brand new you don't know what you're doing you're like well, what, what plan should i use should i do this should i do that just pick a strategy just pick a, a very broad idea there's a couple on this channel guys i've done a few um there's probably loads out there on the internet as well and just trade that because you know, the idea is what we're doing is we're trying to get into a methodical process. But what's more important than the strategy is the process and the checklists and what you're going to do before you make the trade. So the plan would be, I'm going to trade on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm going to trade the currency markets and I'm going to look for this, this type of uh, setup on the chart. Very, very simple. But what you're doing, you're defining and refining things down so that at least you have a plan of action. You know, if you were to set up a business on a street and it's going to be a restaurant, you'd at least know the kind of food you were going to sell, um, when you're going to open, who you're going to employ. You'd have a broad idea. Yes, you might adjust and change the menu and change your opening hours and offers and stuff as you get going, but you have a broad idea of what you're doing. So that's what we're going to do, construct a trading plan, even if it's very, very broad. What you don't want to do is just open a demo account, just be flicking away, trading gold one day, oil the next, Apple the next, this and that and the other, uh, day trading, swing trading. Refine it down. I promise you that will help you in the long run. Second thing is trade the same size as you plan to trade live. So, you know, when you open a demo account, regardless of how much money is in the demo account, say, hey, how much am I going to be risking in the live account? Okay, it might be 2,000 pounds, might be 10,000 pounds, might be 20, might be $500, who knows? Whatever it may be, trade to that size. So do your homework and work out how much risk you're gonna take per trade, how much risk you're gonna take per week. I've done exclusive videos on that, guys. You wanna go and check them out, how to come up with risk management uh, strategy. But what you don't want to do, um, and this is where a lot of people fall down, is they go, right, uh, I've got a demo account here, it's got 10 grand in it, I can trade what I want, and they don't think about size, all they do is think about trading the instrument rather than the risk management and the size management. So consider how much you would trade when you're thinking of trading live when the time's right, we'll get to that in a moment, and then trade the appropriate size for that. Don't be tempted to kind of swing stuff around and go, oh yeah, I've made 200 grand on a demo, it's meaningless. What you're using a demo for is to get into a system, into a routine, and you're in a perfect position. Why are you in a perfect position now? Because you haven't got any bad habits you're kind of new to it you haven't got any habits that are going to be hard to unwind because a lot of traders you know we come up with bad habits then we have to unwind them so you're in a beautiful position that you can start in a demo start right start properly and your learning curve will shorten and reduce massively so trade the same size as you try to play love use strict risk rules Similar type of thing, but this is basically saying, okay, where am I gonna come out of a trade if I'm wrong? So a stop loss order. Where am I gonna, when am I gonna stop trading if I've made multiple losing in a row and reevaluate? Again, consider it as if it was live and treat it like a business. And then we go, never leave a trade on without a stop. This is a classic one. A lot of traders will, you know, they'll trade, they'll put a trade on and then they'll leave it and they'll leave it multiple days and come back and go, oh, I've made so much money. You'd never do that in the real world. You'd be checking it frantically and consistently. So never leave a trade on without a stop and get out of that habit straight away. Get into the habit of putting a stop in, keeping the risk managed and doing it correctly. The fifth thing is, is start to consider how you will feel if it was real money. So if you made 
a couple of hundred pounds, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever the number is. How do you feel about that? And just consider it because that's the biggest challenge and the biggest friction point going from live uh, to real, uh, sorry, going from demo to live is the emotional aspect. So just start to consider it. You're never gonna know, but you probably know that, hey, if you suddenly made 50% of your account, you're probably gonna feel pretty ecstatic. Same as if you drop 50% of your account, you're gonna feel pretty bad. And so you're just starting to think about how that will, you know, later on, um, if you, you kind of get involved with live trading, loads of videos on this channel, guys, we talk about emotions and how to deal with those and discipline and stuff. But if you just start thinking about it now, uh, while you're in demo, it's a good place to be. Uh, the sixth thing is don't trade from your phone. Now, this doesn't mean phones uh, per se, but what it really means is treat it professionally. So if you've got an allocated time, you're gonna come in, you're gonna do your scan, you're gonna trade, do that. Rather than being out and about, taking out your phone, um, and flicking through and making a trade from it. Now there's nothing wrong, I don't think, with occasionally checking the market out and about, but I think impulsively trading on your phone is a bad move. You know, you need to be considerate with your trades, take them carefully and be very, very you know, precise about the process you take before you pull the um, the platforms that you can download onto your mobile and apps and you can monitor the market, you can trade if you want to. I think monitoring's fine and maybe if you've already got an alert in or something to take a trade, that's fine. But the point is not to be making decisions as tempting as they are, as exciting as it is to be involved in the markets on the fly when you're out and about on an iPad or an iPhone or, or for any phone. Um, the, the final thing guys is number seven, keep excellent records. If you can keep records now and get into the habit of this, this is the one thing that will definitely help you uh, improve your consistency further down the line. Keeping good records, how you're feeling, what you're trading, what the setup is, what the strategy is, what the time is, all this stuff. Yes, the broker will keep all the records for you. They'll be available for you whenever you want. However, just keeping your own journal, your own log, your own records just, is, just sets you apart from the rest. Just puts you in a little bit more of a professional status, makes you feel like you're doing something that others aren't. And guys, something to point out here, 90% of people who open a demo will just sling trades back and forth and they'll be doing all sorts of stuff and they'll think like, yeah, I'll do this, do that. And whether they make money or lose money is purely down to luck. If you follow some of these rules, you are ahead of 80 to 90% of the people out there. And if you do these things now, then you have a much, much better chance of making it work when you've got real money on the line than those guys who are just f f firing around, have gotten real no uh, direction, got no plan, got no strategy, all this kind of stuff. So well worth following these paper trading golden rules and well worth checking out. Links to them in the description below. Take care guys, keep your risk managed. I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.